Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine. If you're new here, today we're doing this beautiful bronzy peachy glow makeup. I love a bronzed makeup look for the summertime and I wanted to include some peachy tones to make this one a little different. So let's get into this makeup. We're gonna start with these Laneige Makeup Serum Glowy Drops. I really love these. They have a really nice consistency. I love the way my skin feels with it and it has a really nice subtle glow that i think is perfect for the summertime we're using this as primer today today's look is all about the bronze so we're going to definitely use some underpainting with this bronzer from lys and i'm just going to apply it to the same area that i normally apply it i'm just going to do my nose contour really lightly basically just set in a foundation for it and then we're going to add another color to my cheeks. Then we're going to add this color to the bronzer. So this is a blush. It's in the shade Curvy. And it's this beautiful uh, peachy tone. I guess it's like an orangey tone. Not necessarily peachy. But it gives me like that peachy feel. A little bit here. A little bit there. Alright, so I'm just going to blend these two out. And we're left with this beautiful peachy bronze which I think it's so pretty like why do regular bronzer when you can do a peachy bronze you know also the blush does have this like glow to it so it's not a regular um, orange tone it has a beautiful glow it gives this glowy bronzy peachy look which we love. I'm loving the way this looks already. We're gonna add some concealer. I'm using the Born This Way today and I'm using the shade Butterscotch. I'm really gonna just apply this in my inner corner, right here. The shade is pretty light, so I'm not gonna apply too, too much. I'm definitely applying a lot while I say this, but <laughs> I'm applying a little bit less than I usually do with my other shades. So we're just going to let that sit and dry down so it can give more coverage. And then we're going to use the Fenty foundation. This is the Soft Lit Foundation in the shade 410. And I'm just going to apply this under... Oh, I forgot. I actually, I actually forgot I wanted to do a little concoction today. So we're going to do Fenty Foundation 410. This is the Soft Lit. I'm going to add a little drop of the Dior Forever Glow. This is the star, star filter, and this one's in the shade 6, I believe. Where is the shade? Yeah. Yeah, this is 6. So I'm going to do one drop of that. I added a little drop of the Dior to my cheeks since I already applied product here. And then we're just going to blend this in. I'm using a Fenty foundation brush for this. By the way, I used to use Fenty 420. And I switched to 410 a couple months ago, and I love this shade so much more. Let's blend that. I'm just doing a really tiny amount of foundation because we already have a lot of product on. I don't need to add too, too much. So I still have quite a bit of foundation left over. I'm just using the tiniest amount. So just kind of fill in the gaps of wherever I did on bronze or apply concealer. I'm gonna start blending out my concealer using a Makeup by Mario brush. This concealer shade is pretty light. If you wanted something more natural, you can definitely use a shade that's closer to your complexion, but I'm going for kind of a brighter under eye today. I just feel like I wanna be a little extra, you know? <laughs> Blend out my forehead. I'm also going to apply some concealer under my brow just to, you know, make them pop because I definitely need to clean up under. Sometimes the concealer can definitely take away that definition, so I'm going to just add a little bit more. I actually didn't add any product to my brush, I'm just using whatever was left on there. I'm going to use the other side to just blend that out so it's not just like a harsh line. I'm gonna set my under eye with the Huda Beauty powder. This is the peach shade called Peach Pie. I'm doing peach today because we're doing a bronzy look. I feel like the peach will complement that better. So we're just keeping it in that bronzy tone, you know, like golden, 
orangey tones. I'm applying it to my hand to just dust off the excess before I apply it under my eye. And if you're wondering why my hand is this color, girl. <laughs> Yesterday I applied my self tanner drops and I forgot to wash my hands right after. So they literally stay in the palm of my hand. I use those drops because my chest is always a lot lighter because it's, you know, covered. Whenever I wear things with an open chest, you can definitely see a big difference between my face and my chest. So I applied the drops yesterday and that's what happened. These are the drops that I use. I've used them for a while. I wanna say like two years now and I really like them. For my under eye, I'm using a shade that's more similar to my complexion because I don't want it to be too, too bright. I just want it to be like tame and just, you know, look good, not too bright. I just want it to look neat and as if I just got my brows done. I always like to take a fluffy brush like this one from Huda Beauty to just blend out the concealer once I lay it down. We're going to use the Benefit Brow Wax as usual. This is my go-to. I love this stuff. It's so good. I'm also going to add some of this Makeup by Mario. This is a bronzer. It's called the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector in the shade Dark. I used to use this all the time a couple years ago. It was like my favorite summer product. And I gave it a break, a long break, but we're bringing it back today. I just feel like it's the perfect bronzy product. It has a nice gradient of a bronzer that goes into more of a highlight. And I think it's just perfect for today's look. So we're just gonna add this over top the liquid or I guess cream, cream bronzer. This adds a really nice bronzy glow to your skin. I'm just gonna add a light layer of that to my nose. I'm also gonna take that right into my crease a little, like just like this. I'm gonna do a little eyeshadow. I love doing a bronzy eye look and I wanna keep it in the peachy bronze family. So I'm gonna take this shade called Carpe Diem from Natasha Denona, this palette. This is called my dream palette. I'm gonna apply this. It's a really pretty brown shade, but it has kind of a hint of peach to it, like the smallest hint. I think it's perfect for a bronzy base. I'm gonna use this palette just for the bronze shade. It's called Outer Corner, but we're gonna use this on my eyelid. Actually, I'm gonna spray it because it's like fallen. This is such a pretty bronzy shade. I love this color. Wow. Stunning. This is exactly what I was looking for. Just a plain bronze, no like golds in there. Just like a true bronze color. Don't mind my lashes, y'all. I know they look tragic. I'm gonna use Teddy by MAC for my waterline. It's this beautiful bronzy tone. I'm gonna use the shade Crease as well. And just add that right here. I'm adding it to the outer half of my lower lash line. Use the BK Beauty 203 brush for that. We're gonna do some brown mascara. For blush, we're gonna use a little bit of Love by Ray Beauty. This is such a, oh, I love this. I can't get enough of these blushes. Serena did her big one with these. I think they're so pretty. We're gonna use Max Modesty just for our lipstick. Then we're gonna use this Lancome Juicy Tube in Hallucination.
I'm gonna add a drop of Oh Baby from MAC. Added a little drop of Oh Baby from MAC just for a little more bronzy tone. I'm gonna do a little highlight in with this Dior palette. I'm gonna take this bronzy shade. Ooh, the final touch. I'm just gonna blend out this area right here where my blush connects with my under eye. Same thing on this side, just gonna blend this out. Basically blending everything together with this puff. We're gonna set this with the one size spray. This is the final look. I love how peachy and bronzy this look is. Let me know in the comments if you do try it out and I'll see you in my next video.